Jeff Jarrett versus Jeff Hardy. The date, September the 8th, 2004, and the location, right here at the Asylum. Wow, September the 8th, you just heard it right there. Wait a minute. What in the world? Monty Brown? What's he got to do with this? What's that anything to do with him? It's about Jeff Hardy and Jeff Jarrett, September 8th, World Championship match. You're not ready. tonight, Mike. Not in here. You have the gall to come on my Serengeti and announce a title match date and the alpha male's not in it? I don't care about the committee. This is what I want. You get the supposed director of authority out here and you have him see me. You announced the title match, the date. Now, announce the date when I get the winner because whoever he may be, that unlucky guy will get the pounce. Wow. Period. Monty Brown showing that he wants to win here. Wait a minute, here comes the truth. Not the truth killings that the crowd yells his name. Coming into the ring right here. Let me tell you something right now. Running your mouth, don't get you nothing around here. In the asylum, you earn your spot. Jeff Hardy earned his spot. As a matter of fact, he earned his spot by beating you. If you get a shot at the NWA world title, it's gonna be through me, buddy. Whoa! Oh, oh, Drew Killings. Go Thanks, Mike. Monty Brown. Tonight is the night we find out does the truth hurt one on one with the alpha male. Tonight, the truth will get hurt. And what do I have to say about the truth? First time for everything, isn't it, Scott? The truth will get mangled, grabbed by the throat, and decimated. Period. What I want to talk about is September 8th. Jeff Hardy, Jeff Jarrett, I don't care who the winner is. Whoever it is, by September 9th, the alpha male's name better be on that title line. And I am coming to establish my legacy here. Truth, when you venture onto the Serengeti and you learn what a dangerous place it is, you will get the... Wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, big man. I didn't come in here to bust your interview time. I came in here to smarten you up a little bit. There seems to be something that you keep overlooking with all your alpha maleness there. The politics of favoritism that goes on in this company each and every week. I ought to know because I got consumed with it. I was here and now I'm down here. And I'm afraid, Bonnie, that it's going to happen to you. So what I'm here to tell you is that the director of authority, Vince Russo, is against us with all his little stooges, AJ Styles, Chris Harris, Ron, the truth, killings. And now we have a new one on our hands, Jeff Hardy. The way I see it, Monty, you need backup, my friend. Not that you need it, but if you ever do, you can count on Dallas and I to be right behind you. For real. I'll tell you what, the alpha male has never needed backup. The alpha male hunts alone. That Serengeti is ruled by me alone. And tonight, along with establishing my legacy, my place, truth, you will feel the Mike, as we prepare for the six-man eruption later on tonight, Alpha Male Monty Brown, let me ask you this. Have you heard any response from Vince Russo regarding your world title shot, or could it be, like the three live crew said, does Vince not think you're ready for that type of opportunity? Scott Hudson, your stupidity is only rivaled by the sheer ignorance of that idiot Vince Russo. Vince Russo, you say the alpha male's not ready. Scott, I feel ready. I look ready. 
Vince Russo, I am more than ready. You say the alpha male cannot be compared to Jeff Hardy and Jeff Jarrett. Well, he's correct. How can you compare two pin lights to the brilliance and the radiance of the blazing sun itself? You talk about politics. I listen closely to what Kid Cash had to say. I'm not in the politics. I'm not in the office politics. The alpha male lives by Serengeti legislation. And that is kill or be killed. Hunt or be hunted. Survival of the fittest. And you're looking at the fittest. I wasn't born of politics. The alpha male is me. I am him. Monty Brown will not be prevented, Vince Russo, because you didn't create him. Jeff Jarrett, September 8th, I don't care who wins between you and Hardy, but on September 9th, somebody's got... Wait, wait, Monty Brown. Let's not talk about the 9th. Let's not talk about the 8th. Let's talk about what's going on right now. Monty, I'm not your enemy, but I'm here to tell you who is. What Kit Cash said last week was right. They got their favorites around here. There's a lot of politics going on. I'm not standing in your way of a world title shot. I'm here to tell you, man to man, face to face, you can have this shot any day of the week. You know who's standing in your way, Monty? One man. And who's he? The charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. He's the one who has your shot, and you know it. Monty, there's a six-man tag tonight. They cannot deny the fact if you take Jeff Hardy out tonight, that on September the 8th, you'll have his shot, Monty. Think about it, Monty. Take Hardy out tonight, and you can have his shot. It all sounds good, Jeff. But you look like a liar you smell like a liar and the alpha male doesn't trust you one little bit monty let me teach you something i don't trust one single solitary human being in this building tonight let alone the entire wrestling business but also vince russo is our enemy our common enemy monty Pick your poison. Good luck tonight. I don't know about poisons, and I don't know about picking, but tonight, I do know one thing that starts with a P, and someone is going to get the pounce! Monty Brown, we are just seven days away from the biggest match in the history of NWA TNA. That's Jeff Hardy and Jeff Jarrett for the World Heavyweight Championship. Before we talk about that, I want to know straight from your mouth, sir, if I may. It was very obvious last week that you and Jeff Jarrett were working together. My question to you, sir, with all due respect, is this. What's the relationship between the alpha male and the king of the mountain, the world champion, Jeff Jarrett? Seven days, Scott? Seven days. No. Seven days? Are you serious? S seven days, buddy. Yeah. Come on. I'm pretty sure it's seven. Scott, your grasp of the obvious it's remarkable. And they pay you for this? Yeah, not very well, but I'll... Whatever. Firstly, Jeff Jarrett, you've got something the alpha male wants, and I don't care if you give it to me or Jeff Hardy gives it to me. I want it, and I will be getting it. Secondly, as far as me teaming with Jeff Jarrett, the alpha male is an entity on his own. I hunt alone. What the alpha male was doing is living by Serengeti legislation. Kill or be killed. I was on the hunt when that little bitty painted gazelle came onto my Serengeti. And what happened? I began to mangle him, grab him by the jugular. And then another lion came onto the Serengeti and wanted to hunt too. I'm not gonna stop my hunt. I'm gonna continue my kill. And Jeff Jarrett, you just happen to be there at the same time. Jeff Jarrett, you smell like a liar. You look, walk, talk like a liar. Jeff Jarrett is a liar. But 
on this instance, Jeff Jarrett, you're telling the truth. The alpha male has the next title shot. It's Vince Russo, who's not only is an idiot, but he's a liar too. I heard what he had to say on Jeff Hammond's six points of impact. Yeah, the alpha male, what we have here is he's not that good at blah, blah, blah. He's not ready and so on and so forth. I told you before, I'm more than ready, Vince Russo. The alpha male, who does he trust? He trusts himself. That's it. Vince Russo, all that the DOA means to the alpha male is dead on arrival. Courtesy of the power. What he did inside out is when he turned Adam Flash with the impact of the clothesline. Alpha male Monty Brown. You can almost tell that he's just sensing victory here. It's almost just a matter of time. Adam Flash. Oh, here he goes. He just hit the pounce, period, and there's the three count. It is academic. It is, period. Exclamation point. There's your winner, the alpha male Monty Brown. And if you think about it, outside of Jeff Jarrett and Jeff Hardy, he's probably the Jeff most Hardy. interested man. Jeff Jarrett, this Wednesday night, you do battle on my Serengeti, and I will be intently watching. And whoever the winner is, as you can see, I will be dying to give you the power. Period. So I want an answer now. Sounds like the champ is so a little Vince impatient. Russo, get out of that meeting trying to determine who the number one contender is. Well, he wants to know Get who it is. Here. So he Whether can prepare. Whether it be Lance Zabisco or any member of the championship committee. Even that egomaniac Dusty Rhodes, if you're trying to run the show today, Get out here right now, because I want an answer on who I'm facing Sunday, November the 7th at Victory Road. We all want to know, who's it going to be? Who's going to be the number one contender? Who's going to be the challenger? Who's going to get that title shot at Victory Road, our first Sunday pay-per-view, our first three-hour pay-per-view, and here's one man who is definitely willing to step up to the plate and to take that title shot. It's the alpha male, Monty Brown. Well, Monty Brown is playing that this title shot is his. In his mind, it is. He has just constantly said it. You know, we saw how it happens with the squeaky wheel tries to get the grease. Let's see if Monty Brown can be successful. Security in the ring as well. Jeff Jarrett! Ooh, Welcome to the Serengeti! Jeff Jarrett, you're looking for answers? The alpha male is your answer. And he's your next opponent. That's right. Walk away. So don't worry about Raven. And don't worry about Jeff Hardy. And you don't need to worry about that constipated abyss. Who you need to worry about is the male who's in your face right now. Because the alpha male is one. Wait, 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 wait. Monty Brown? You just don't get it, do you? You're a jock, an ex-jock that didn't make it in the NFL. Go ahead and take your shirt off, Monty. I told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. 
You're a double-A ball player trying to make it in the major leagues. Let me break it down for you, Monty, okay? Break it down. Real simple. This is not the Serengeti. This is my mountain, and I am the king of it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. How wise that was. Money, leave now. Oh, here he goes. He's not leaving. Goes out to the booking committee, Vince Russo, and most importantly, Jeff Jarrett. There is none more deserving and none more worthy of a title shot than the alpha male. So Sunday. Ever seen it? Oh, look at this. He's just in total control. Eric Stevens, you wanted to get a shot here at DNA. Well, let me tell you something. You picked the wrong man to get it against. Is the alpha male is in the Serengeti, so to speak. Almost as if he's a man on a mission as of late, being deprived of that shot at Jeff Jarrett in the NWA title. Look out! Oh, what a bounce! That devastating wow. finishing move from the alpha male as he connects with the pounce on Eric Stevens. Gonna drag him to the middle of the ring. Gonna go for the cover and... Didn't even have to play any. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Only a two count. I, 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 I got took it for, for granted. I mean, look at Stevens. He can't even move. You can see our senior official, Rudy Charles, just by his body language, how surprised he is as well. Stevens can barely get to his feet here. What's Buddy Brown doing? The guy can't even walk. It's over. you got to be kidding me. Another bounce. That's what we just talked about. What is he doing? He's more aggressive than ever. That's called sending a message. No more bounces if I kill him. I've never seen that before. I have never seen him do two in a row. Two pounces from the alpha male Monty Brown as he scores the victory. He gains the win on impact over Eric Stevens. He's got the he's microphone. Got the mic. Let's hear what he has to say. Stevens, you cannot stop me. The alpha male will not be stopped. All you've done is delay the inevitable. Through all of your delusions of grandeur, all you've done is added your name to the endangered species list. Oh! Oh! Welcome to the Terra Dome. Uh-uh. At Victory Road, it will be welcome to the Serengeti. And I will open the door with the power. What the light just went out? What's going on here? Monty Brown has got Stevens and Stevens, and he's gonna put them together and pin them both at the same time. Unbelievable! November 7, it's gonna be out of control. No disqualification. Monty Brown, the fist, and Raven, what a three-way that's gonna be. Monty Brown's got something to say here, Mike. Let's hear what it is. Raven! You wanna play games? This is not the place for games. You want to play games? Hop in the Raven Mobile with the Abyss and go to Toys R Us. You want to play games? Go get a ball. Or I got a ball for you. It's called the Monsters Ball. Sunday, November 7th at Victory Road. I will give you the Monsters Ball. You want to play games? Hey, let's play games. He's going over to the bag, Mike. Let's see what's in it here. It's close to Halloween. Raven, you want to play games? Let's play dress up. Let's play dress up. Well, what does the alpha male have in the bag? He said, let's play dress up. Let's see what we got. 
It's a straight jacket. Yeah. We've certainly seen Raven bring out the straight jacket in recent weeks. And what what else does he have in the bag? It's a oh. mask. Oh, obviously, we got a mask. It's a Raven in Abyss. How about this, Abyss? Check this out. He's got the mask. He's putting, he's putting that mask on Mark Stevens. Oh, look at this. Yeah, but in, in his mind, that's the monster of mask. Oh, and he just slams him to the mask. How about, How about this for games? Oh. Now he's headed over towards Eric Stevens. He's got the straight jacket for Raven. He's got the straight jacket. Here's a game for you, Raven. Something that we see Raven wear all the time as he breaks it out to, to play mind games with you now. He's just wrapped that around his neck. Is he going to do it again? Oh, my gosh. Look at the power of the alpha male. What a visual here from the alpha this male, Monty Brown. It's not a black hole. This is not the carnival of carnage. This is the Serengeti. So, Raven, Abyss, and I did not forget about you. Number 51, Brian Cox. You keep the alpha male's name out of your mouth on the best damn sports show. Don't get it twisted. This has no grass, no artificial turf. The Serengeti, Brian Cox. You fat water buffalo. It's a very dangerous place. So Water Buffalo, Raven, Abyss, at Victory Road, November 7th, you all will get <laughs> the power! Mongo, what's going it's on? time for you to stop flapping your gums and staring at the screen. He's You're watching the monster Abyss. Six foot eight, 350 pounds. He's not merely the best big man in pro wrestling. He's the best man, period. And he's going to prove it to you and Raven at the three-way Monsters Ball on November 7th at Victory Road, the biggest event in the history of TNA wrestling. You see, for the first time in his career, Abyss has found a voice that can properly articulate his seat in hatred, rage, and contempt for man. Now, if you dare show up for the Monsters Ball at Victory Road, you're going to find yourself and Raven in a broken, twisted mass at Victory Road Kill while Abyss stands with his heart held high. Coming up November 7th. Money Brown, it was one week ago that DOA, Dusty Rhodes, ordered the match with you against Jeff Jarrett for the World Heavyweight title. I don't have to remind you, few men have had an opportunity to call themselves World Heavyweight Champion. Few men saying, Douglas, we're not talking about a few men, we're talking about one man, one male, and that's the alpha male. You heard what Darth Vader said. There's a genesis arising, and the alpha male is at the center of that genesis. I am at the precipice of greatness, and tonight I cross over that precipice. Jeff Jarrett, it's over. Tonight he will get the pop star. Bernie knows that he has got it. If you're ever going to get a vulnerable body round, this is going to be it. Oh, wait a minute. Jeff Jarrett. Mike Tanay, 
professor of wrestleology as you are, you know that coming close isn't good enough. But what does count, Jeff Jarrett, is that you now know who the alpha male is in this world on your planet, and you can't stop me. Think of the last two weeks, what's going on? I've been cracked ribs, hit with bricks, hit with stones, two by fours, took your guitar shots, took your stroke, and I still stand. I will not be stopped, Jeff Jarrett. That is the truth. I'm a true survivor. And I even survived the interference from your boy, Scott Hall. And speaking of the kings of wrestling, Kevin Nash, you keep the alpha male's name out of your mouth. But you three are nothing more than animals on the endangered species list. Jeff the Jekyll Jarrett, the Silver Fox, no, the Great Goose, Kevin Nash, and the Three Cold Slaw, Scott Hall. So we've gone through Victory Road, a precipice was crossed, and now Final Destination will be my destiny, and somebody, Mike Tanay, will get the power! Period. Jeff Jarrett, beware! That target on your back just got bigger. They're lining up. You're gonna feel the bang, all right. I'm gonna bang you right back into retirement. Wow. And Alpha Male Monty Brown, Mr. Serengeti. Didn't I just eat you on Planet Jarrett? You won the match, but it was it was thanks to Hall and, and Nash. As far Absolutely. As you go. Well, we're, we're gonna hear from Monty Brown. Yeah, Mr. Oh, Serengeti, if you will. Wah, 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 wah. Nobody wants to hear that crap, Jeff Jarrett, you blockhead! So why don't you do what Dusty Rhodes told you to do last week and shut up! At final resolution, something will be finally resolved. And that will be the alpha male Monty Brown becoming world heavyweight champion. No disrespect to Mr. Three-time, three-time, three-time world champ DDP. No disrespect to the great goose, Kevin Nash. You've held titles everywhere you've gone. But that was then. This is now. The alpha male will go through Kevin Nash. He will go through DDP. And then just like all these people have been screaming for months and months, next world champ, next world champ, next world champ, next world champ, next world champ. When I'm done with them, Jeff, and it's just you and I, when it's all said and done, they won't have to scream that anymore. Because they'll only be screaming, the world champ, the world champ, the world champ, the world champ, the world champ. And Jeff, Jeff, whoa, 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 and Jeff, I'll tell you how I'm gonna do it. I'll be getting it done, so prepare yourself, Grey Goose, for. <laughs>